Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey and Queen, of course. We are heading to breakfast, finally. I believe she has chosen Commune, which we haven't done. We also kind of want to cook, but we haven't gotten groceries, so we'll probably do that today. Maybe. <laughs> and then we'll have foods that we can cook breakfast at home because going out to eat all the time gets kind of old. I know you don't believe that because I'm constantly in this forerunner going out and getting us food, but especially breakfast, it's nice to make it at home. But let's go eat. All right, kids, it is a gorgeous morning out. It actually isn't that humid, especially now that we're sitting outside here in the shade at Commune. So, uh, okay, sorry, the waitress just came to take our order. Gotta get that in because we're hungry. Anyways, it's gorgeous out. There's a nice breeze. It's not humid. Although now we're gonna have to inhale that guy's cigarette, but my pleasant birthday. Birthday? I haven't had coffee yet, shut up. My pleasant. Vacation? Yeah, vacation date, breakfast date. <laughs> nah, words, phrases, gibberings. <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording because I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I want food and coffee. Plain old coffee does the trick. So hungry I forgot to film the food, so it's all partially eaten. All right, kids, it's been a busy day. I have actually been doing day job work, which I have full well admitted that I was gonna be doing while I was on this break. I got a bunch of stuff done today and yesterday, you know, and, and since I've been on vacation, uh, I've also gone out and got some of that JB Weld so that I can adhere that plate to the battery. But I also got something else to help with the flow and, and it might actually eliminate the battery issue as well. But uh, hold on a second. Here I am talking all cryptic and shit and I'm just, just gonna show you because I'm coming up to a straightway. So I got the Zune Crane M3 and that was after watching several videos on the M2S and 3 and I don't know I just kind of feel a little bit more comfortable getting the 3 making sure that it works with everything that I have and maybe future proofing myself a bit and it was on sale I I'm looking out with the sales this week it it's working really well I'm pretty happy about that so I'm gonna go home and charge that up and then I don't know I'm gonna dick around and do a bunch of stuff it it's only 238 I'm glad that I decided to go to three ships earlier than I normally do because I usually don't go until 3 or like 3.34 and they closed at 3. They had a sign on the door saying they were closing at 3. So that would have sucked because I hate getting there finding out that they're closed because then it sucks that I drove all the way for, for nothing and it sucks because I don't get my bean. Bean has been gotten and all is well. We'll figure out what we're going to do as soon as we get home. First thing first though is I'm going to sit there and enjoy my tasty beverage. Okay, kids, so here's the thing. I'm back at Great Neck Park to do this test. I did this test already walking around my neighborhood, but it was 20 minutes of profanity-laden ranting about what I'm gonna just say a couple of things about. So I went to Best Buy, I picked up the Crane M3. It was on sale and I came back and I knew this going in, but I didn't think I'd have this much of a problem. But those assholes at Ziyun have used a proprietary plate. So you have to screw that plate up into the camera, or in my case, up into the small rig cage, and that snaps into the holder on the gimbal, and that's what you use. Like a bunch of buttholes, they made it proprietary so that it is not ARCA compatible, it's not anything compatible. So no matter what, you always have to screw and unscrew the camera into the stupid plate. Seriously? So they also, apparently after customer outrage, or maybe they always had it planned, they came up with a quick release mechanism for the Crane M3 and the M2S, I guess. So that replaces this entire bottom mechanism that you connect to the camera. And you replace that whole thing, and then it just has a small plate that you put onto the bottom of the camera, and that just snaps into place. So theoretically, everything that you set up to get it balanced is good to go, and then all you have to do is just snap the camera in. That's also a proprietary plate, not ARCA compatible. Monkey tried to 
make this freaking thing ARCA compatible. So for like an hour, I dicked around with this thing and all I did was get madder and madder that they've done this yet again. I have a real love-hate relationship with Zune. You know how I hate their ZY Play app. Nothing but problems with that stupid thing and just maddening. Now that they've done this whole proprietary plate bullshit, it, it kind of, once again, makes me want to smash all my frickin' Zune stuff and send it back to them with a hearty... I, for the life of me, I just can't understand why they do this. Yeah, I guess business is why they do it, because they want to get more money. But it's a real fuck you to us creators that, that here we are yet again with something that's supposed to make our life easier and make our footage better and make our creations better. And really all it's doing is stressing us out and pissing us off and making us have to spend more money on workarounds and fixes and all that kind of stuff. That stupid quick release plate thing that they got, I think it's like $80, $90 for real? for something that should have been in this thing in the, in the first place. So uh, I'm starting to get pissed again, so I'm gonna stop. I ordered the smallest Arca clamp that I could find. It actually states that it's basically made so that you can add Arca compatibility by putting it on their plates. That's coming tomorrow. The problem is that if I put the current Arca clamps that I have now onto this proprietary plate so that I can continue to use my Peak Design square plate, it makes the entire mechanism raise up and it makes it hugely top heavy. And it is impossible to balance the camera to make it work. Like you try to go through auto calibration and it fails because it's just too top heavy. The motors aren't strong enough. I got counterweights. I bought counterweights and one of them, like it even comes with a clamp so that you can clamp it onto the bottom of shit. And see, I'm gonna try to see one way or the other if I can get that to work. If not, then I'm probably gonna always have a constipated look on my face when I use this damn thing because it's gonna piss me off that I have to screw and unscrew this stupid ass proprietary plate to put my PGY Tech plate back on so that I can mount it to every other freaking device that I have. Thus endeth the rant. Here we are at, at Great Neck Park. I have my ZV E10 with the 10 to 20 lens on it, the DJI mic at the top, there it is down there. I am going to walk through here now. Since I did it yesterday, I got mixed reaction. Here we are again. So I'm gonna have this facing me because pretty much that's how I always do it. At some point I might turn it around so that you can see me going forward. But now I'm going to stumble my way through the woods here. I'm, I'm going to not rant the entire time that I'm walking. As creators, we need to band together and tell them that they're a bunch of hairy buttholes for doing that to us, screwing us for more money and still not giving us a viable solution when they know damn well that like 90% of every one of us creators uses Arca Swiss plates. For them to make this thing without that Arca compatibility is just a real F you to us. And I think we need to F them back. Okay, said I wasn't gonna rant, I'm done. I watched a bunch of videos on the various gimbals. The Crane M2S, the Crane M3. The whole point of having this gimbal is so that I don't have to spend the time rendering through Catalyst Brows. That's just me. But you know what you get when you're with the monkey, so I definitely think that uh, this is gonna look good enough. But then again, yesterday, I thought it looked good enough when I was looking at the screen, and I realized that it absolutely was not. By the time I got it onto the computer, then you can really see that what you see on the screen here is not the reality of stuff. Because on this little last screen, I thought it looked pretty good. And then when I got it home, it's like, ugh, no way. All right, so I'm gonna do a little pirouette here. All right, I'm gonna spin so you can see going forward now. Maybe, I gotta learn how to use this thing. And FYI, I use go mode pretty much 99.99% of the time I'm using a gimbal because I, you know, I'm not doing any like vortex mode or, you know, any of that weird shit. I'm just using a gimbal so that it looks better. Now the nice thing that, I, you know, I will say the nice thing <laughs> about this, this gimbal is that they do include any cables that you might need so it came with the cable that I can use to connect 
the, the gimbal to the camera. Now, I haven't read the directions, so I don't know how to make the camera, you know, and the gimbal speak so that I can control the camera through the gimbal, but I kind of don't give a shit about that. The most important thing is that I have the ability to power the camera. How you doing? And that's what this is doing. If you plug this in here, it now powers the camera. So I, I've eliminated the need for an external battery if I'm using it with this gimbal. And then all I have to do is basically plug the gimbal in, you know, when I'm driving from place to place. And that's pretty cool, I, you know, problem solved theoretically. I mean, I, do, I don't need to walk through here for like two hours. You kind of get the idea, you get the gist. What do you think? How does this look? Again, I'm pissed about the proprietary plate. I knew about it going into it, but I thought that I would be able to come up with something. I'm gonna come up with something one way or the other, and I'm gonna fix that shit. That aside, this is very light. I mean, it's no heavier than me using anything else that I've, that I've ever used, but now I have stabilization. I have power. Enough lathering. That's that's all you get for today. Yankee Cowboy thought that I should have posted the the you know the 20 minute of me swearing. I'd literally like it was so bad. I would literally just have to take all of the audio out and just one continuous 20 minute beep. <laughs> you know how I get. All right. So let me know what you think about all this. Does it, does it look better? Does it look good? You know, if if you have this setup or a similar setup, did you come up with a solution? around this annoying, stupid proprietary plate bullshit? If you do, let me know down below. Until then, I am going to find a solution to this and I will post it and I will show everybody so that we can all give the big finger to Zune for doing this to us. Okay, that's it. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.